What's up, guys? It's me again, Carly Coco, and I'm here to show you um my relatively new drawing. <laughs> I guess um, it's been a while since I've. Well, that I finished this a long time ago. I'm really behind because I've drawn so many awesome things, but I can't show you yet because I'm doing an individual video on each of them. So, yep, kind of sucks. But here, um, the dude in the other drawing. In the other video that I, uh, yep, this just, hmm, let's see, nope, one more, all right, this dude, him, this is the same guy, <laughs> okay, so, um, here, it's a fight scene, and he's fighting this I don't know who she is. I just made her up like last minute when I was drawing her. <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, I'm gonna make something up. And so he's shooting. It, it, it's it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be green fire, but it, 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 it yeah. You can see I miserably flailed on the green fire there, and that's supposed to be a shield, and I miserably flailed. Oh my gosh, I measure. You know what I'm trying to say. I failed really badly on um the shield and. Like, I made it look like her hands were glowing. Where's my finger? Okay. I made it look like her, <laughs> her hands were glowing and stuff. So that it would look like she's actually making this shield. Because her hands were just extended at first. And I was like, it does not look like she made that shield. It just looked like it popped up there from nowhere. And uh, I did the same for his hand. Because it just looked like it was coming out of random places. So, <laughs> I made their hands look like they're glowing. It's me. It's, it's alright. I think I did fairly good on that cloak. And, and yes, yes, I took that from Fairy Tale. That, um, except for it was a necklace in Fairy Tale. It was a Grey's necklace. But then I made it like a, like a chain and stuff. And, well, that's not much more to say. Ooh, the background. Um, I haven't done the background because I don't know what the heck to do with it. And, um, I want to get, like, some coat. I have coat markers and I colored the skin. I have the skin coat marker. I have the, um, skin. Oh, my gosh. See. This is the one time I actually take my Copic markers out of their case. Here's one. I actually have Copic markers now, and I'm so happy. But I, I need more. I mean, this isn't enough. And, um... Well, uh, there we go. Okay. I just had to drop one. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. So, um, I have the skin tones, and I used these, these two, I think, for, these two for her hair, I think? This girl's hair. It may not look like it, because it's behind all that red. And, um, <laughs> and, um, his skin is a mixture of this. I don't know if you can see that. It says E, E00. And it says skin white. And this is E11, which is barley beige. I, yeah. That's the, um, I used it for both of their skin. It just looks like he's very tan because that's the shadow. He's actually kind of pale. Like, if you look at his arm, that's the real color he is. That's just the shadow that's. Coming from the big, like, explosion of light and fire and stuff, but didn't turn out too well. It's alright, though. Here's the package, actually. In case you wanted to know. And they're double-sided, which I like. Because they have a, um... They have a brush tip. And also, they have a chisel tip. So, it's really useful to have that. But, um... Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, sorry, I haven't really, I've been behind on my drawings and stuff, and I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to catch up. And so, um, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.